Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo and I'm here to unbox the Motox Pure Edition live in front of tons of you. And then I will record the video so that people can watch it after it's live. Does that make sense? The Motox. I had a chance to customize my Motox and you'll see how I chose to customize the Motox Pure Edition. Now I'm not exactly sure if this is something that's like Botox, but maybe like a mobile Botox. That's why they call it Motox, the Pure Edition. It's possible. I'm not exactly sure, really. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to boot it up for the first time. This is just an unboxing. It's not a review. Do not ask review questions. Although, I guess you just asked if I'm going to do a public review. Uh, I do plan on doing a review for patrons, so you could tune in for that. You can become a patron at chrisperillo.com. Head over there right now and you get all sorts of bonuses, including all access TLDR and things like product reviews that I don't post anywhere else. So yeah, actually, uh, I may just do it for patrons. We shall see. So here we go with the Motox Pure Edition. Pretty nice box here. Pretty plain. Blue-ish Moto with an Android and 4G LTE on the side. White, blue, rather stylish, wrapped in cellophane. Pretty nice. Let's go ahead and slice up. Do I use Meerkat? Not really. I've been using Facebook Live, streaming Facebook Live video uh, since I got access to it the other week. And uh, I was really happy with that. You're expecting red? Oh, someone knows me very well. No, this may be the only red that you see in the video. I still have yet to unbox the Captain Phasma, Ray, and Guavian Enforcer. He's very red. I plan on uh, streaming the unboxings there live on uh, Facebook. Those are fun for me to do. Uh, Moto X, pure edition. Ha ha ha, you thought I thought it was Motox. <laughs> this will not be my daily driver. No, but it'll be fun to drive. That is for sure. It even comes with a steering wheel. I'm, maybe I got the edition without the steering wheel, though. Ow. I hurt myself. You're an Apple fanboy? Oh, you're using the possessive form of your? <laughs> Yikes. That was slightly embarrassing. Okay, let's go ahead and pop her open. Still very blue. And I did not cut myself. Thank goodness. Uh, there is my customized Moto X. Right there. Still very blue, except for the phone. The phone itself is, wow, fablity, very fablity, and very uh, two number two pencils. The logo there with the reflection of the text clocks there. The size of the screen is large. If you want to read specs, go ahead and Google them or Bing them. I don't care uh, because the specs are kind of boring. Specs are largely irrelevant. If you come to me, Come to me for my experience, talking through experiences, not specs. Specs are very, very boring. Specs are very routine. And quite honestly, you know, they don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. I've talked about that before a billion times over. Unless you're new here, in which case, hey, welcome to the club. Uh, thank you for joining me. But specs are irrelevant. And anybody who says otherwise really doesn't understand technology as much as you might think. Uh, here we've got a bumper. Very nice to have. I'll probably be putting that on. Uh, it's very uh, big. It's a large screen. Not terribly big. I feel like I could hold it comfortably in one hand. Very nice. Uh, I opted for this black back plastic. Fine by me. Thank you, by the way, for uh, sharing this on Twitter. Needs input. I appreciate that. It's uh, got the, uh, the I guess, the, uh, the plastic on the front. You want me to remove that? I will for you. And I'll get on with the rest of the unboxing, although I know that this is the star of the show. That is a nice, big screen. And I do believe it also has, yep, a micro USB port on the bottom. Micro USB. They have not moved to USB Type-C yet, but I'm sure they'll get there. Then we have, it looks like one speaker. It looks like it would be the speaker there on the top. No, no, that's the uh, volume rocker. The speakers are uh, out front. There we go. Nice. It's been a while. See, there. That, that's what's so nice about see, some of these designs is that the features are invisible. Never had a chance to play with the Nexus 6, quite honestly. I uh, never did have a chance, which was disappointing. But oh well. Thank you, Soul Purge, for sharing this on Twitter. I appreciate it. Apparently, it's like a Nexus 6. All right, works for me. And I like the fact that it's the pure edition, you know, the closest thing I can get to a stock Android when I'm not dealing with stock Android. 
Uh, there's the Motorola logo on the back, which again, they remind me, it reminds me of uh, two number two pencils there. Flash, camera. How big is the battery? About that big, right there. It's about, it's about as big as it is. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know. The last time I played with a, a Motorola device was, God, which what was it? What was the last Motorola device? It was eons ago. Let's see if I can pop this open somehow. I'm sure there's a trick to it but I don't know if I've got the fingernails for it. Maybe you can't remove it. See, I like walking into these devices not knowing anything about them, quite honestly. That, I prefer that. Some people want to know everything, and that's fine. You guys are doing your research, and gals are doing your research on this stuff. Um, but uh, sometimes I like unboxing things and not knowing anything about the devices at all, because then I have a chance to experience them for the first time, really, like uh, a lot of people. It, uh, it's a big screen, but it's not an incredibly heavy device. That, that really impresses me. Oh, you can't open the back. Well, thank you. I, I'm glad I didn't try. <laughs> I didn't buy it. Thank you. Um, no, they gave me a chance to customize it. So this is a review unit, and I'm, I'm kind of happy to have my hands on it. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have a chance because I, uh, unfortunately, do not uh, you know have an opportunity to try out a lot of devices because I'm not much of a hardware guy. I'm more of a software guy. So out of the entire Moto X experience, the thing I'm most interested in is the software. I'm, I'm going to be flat out honest with you. The hardware is just a gateway to software. That's why, to me, specs are irrelevant. Is the software a good experience in conjunction with the hardware? I don't know yet. I, I haven't had a chance to, to try it. Here we have, I'd assume, the AC adapter, yes, and the cable to charge it. And I believe that is all. Oh, no, I guess not. That's not all. You got all, the SIM ejector pushy thingy. <laughs> it does have a turbo charger, so it charges very, very fast. And I would expect that, especially with the. Uh, I would consider this. In the phablet range, let me go ahead and grab my uh, iPhone 6S Plus case. Uh, almost is as big here. Yeah. So it looks like it's it'd be about the same size as an iPhone 6S Plus or an iPhone 6 Plus. It kind of fits in there. Maybe it's a little smaller. I mean, in terms of the, the physical size, not necessarily the screen size. Those, of course, would be uh, different or should be different from everything that I read when I was customizing it. Of course, I didn't read everything. Uh, what do you expect? Uh, I just wanted to try it. That's, I just wanted to get my hands on it. But I'm not much of a, you know, a, a hardware guy as much as I am a software guy, but I'm not gonna apologize for that. Every geek is different. Let's see here, I'm assuming this is gonna be the power button on the side. Let's boot her up. Let's try it. Okay, is the power button. Oh, there we go. Android. And by the way, they're, they're, they gave you a chance in the, uh, in the customization tool, There's fuzz on the screen there. Uh, in the customization tool, they give you a chance to customize the boot screen. That was really kind of neat. I really liked the procedure by which you could customize the software with this hardware that I had not experienced in uh, any other uh, Android customization at all. Let me go ahead and just clear that stuff off the desk. Who cares about the box? Uh, very, 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 very fast boot. Uh, insanely fast and you can see I'm holding it in one hand obviously uh, but that just to me uh, speaks that uh, to its its balance um, you know of course I think I'm going to need to use two hands did see a few frame drops there uh, the uh, idea of uh, you know using a phablet with uh, one hand is is quaint but I would definitely uh, put this within uh, the, the phablet territory let's go ahead and skip all the online stuff uh, your privacy sure it's android how private could it be next i don't care you, you you'll, you'll get it later i'll skip the protect your phone skip anyway uh google's location service that was a pretty smooth scroll there what's next maybe later maybe i'll migrate later see that's it's very nice it's it's uh it's it's pretty quick they get you they get you through it into it and dang i really like that screen that is a clear screen i love the colors on that screen man sharp clean you know it, it, it i wouldn't say it's it's too heavy um let's go ahead and I'll, I'll dive deeper in terms of the version wow fluid animation there really fluid let's go to settings <laughs> i should just use the second hand here uh where we go about phone system updates no model number android version 511 that's the 511 not bad 
We have software buttons, not capacitive buttons. Pretty clean. Um, you know, it feels a bit hefty, though. I mean, I thought it was pretty well, I mean, like, just holding on to it for a few seconds, it feels pretty lightweight, but then the more you hold it, the heavier it kind of feels. Uh, it could be in, in conjunction with the battery, I don't know. Uh, I'd assume that's probably it taking up a bulk of these types of devices, but, uh, you know, that's that. I don't think that's going to become an issue uh, for many people, you know, especially when you know that to use a phablet, it is going to be bigger. Uh, uh, to me, that doesn't take away, it's not taking away from the experienced uh, overall, and I would say, wow, very fluid. Hell, that's a more fluid experience than iOS 9 has been on my uh, iPhone 6, that's for sure. But I've been saying for a while now that Google has been schooling Apple in terms of design and execution on UI. So that's that's not uh, that's not a new revelation for anybody. Uh, it's Android, and it is clean, it's responsive, and I don't think I can better explain or explain in such a way that the, the fluid 60 frames per second I'm seeing on the screen is not necessarily translating in a 30 frames per second video. How does it look beside the iPhone? I don't know. I, I think the, the, the whites seem to have a tint to them in person, almost like a green tint, but maybe it's the green on the screen that's throwing me off. There's a tint. It's not a pure white. It's definitely, oops, sorry about that. My glasses knocked into the tablet here. Huh. What do I think about the performance and the scrolling? Like like I said, it's smooth. It is that's that's 60 frames per second, dude. Clean. No jankiness at all. Of course, Android's not really doing much right now, you know. And you got to remember that Android also handles uh, memory and uh, application and performance, etc., completely different than iOS does. <clears throat> I think by the way, again, Google's done a better job with that. But it's not connected, so I can't uh, necessarily get online and, and do much else. <coughs> with this device. Man, <coughs> I should have grabbed some water <laughs> before I did anything. Hey, let's take a quick picture here. Uh, okay, let's clear those. Yeah, that's clean. SIM card. Did you see that little SIM card thing that showed up? Wow. Uh, camera. Oh, there we go. Now, I wasn't as impressed with the, the classic uh, Moto cameras that I had tried, especially indoors, but uh, let's see what happens when I do. I'm sorry, I'm taking it out of frame there. Here, let's do this. Okay, Captain Phasma, you're going to stand there on your head. I'm going to take your picture. Here we go, Captain. Let's go ahead. Oh, I guess I took a picture. I was going to tap to focus. No, I don't. I want to tap to focus. There, I don't want to flash. Okay, that's okay. Well, so far, I'm not that impressed with the software, but i got to learn how to use it. Okay, there, I took a... No, I, I guess I did No, I didn't take a picture. I exited out. Because, of course, pressing that circle button would exit out. Okay, so apparently to take the picture, you just tap and then it focuses. And no, 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 no flash. Ah, stop. Uh, okay, I was better better off not. Never mind. Okay, yeah, you got to be smarter than the camera, I think. Okay, I can do this. I can figure this out. Gallery settings. I don't need settings. Okay, except for turning off the flash. Auto off. There we go. Okay, now take a picture. Boy, it's not really. There we go. Now it's focused. Okay, now I want to see the gallery. Well, I swiped in like it told me to. Okay, gallery. What's new? Now your camera can scan QR codes. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. Uh, okay, there, off the cuff. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Sharp lines. Okay, once once you figure it out, swipe down. Okay, I like that help. That's really nice, especially for new users. Very clean. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's just me holding it like that. That, to me, that's detail. That's impressive. Indoor. Indoor shot here. Not perfect, obviously, but uh, I am impressed. That is nice. Then again, a lot of uh, a lot of these devices um, have gotten better in terms of their, their camera. Once you figure out how to use it, it's it's great. That's not bad. I'm impressed. You know, for, for a camera and, and just jumping into something. All right, let's do this. One-handed Phasma shot. Do I swipe in there? Okay, can I double? Wow. Just holding on to one hand. That is impressive. That is very, very impressive. I can't tell you. Um, I like how uh, the screen feels, too. I mean, not only is it a fluid uh, animation, it's it's clean. I mean, it feel, I, I like the feel of, of the screen. I, how, do, how do I explain it? It just feels okay. It feels nice. I like that. Okay. Initial impressions are positive. Dang. You know, for for a uh, uh, you know a pure Android experience, as pure as I've had in a long time, this could very well become my uh, go-to Android device, easily, if only because of that camera. Wow, this is going to be fun to play with.
Very, very fun. Okay, everybody, uh, that is the unboxing and, I guess, initial impressions of the uh, Moto X, a customized version, which, as you can see, I didn't customize very well. I'm, I'm a huge fan of... Uh, these types of devices here. You can see my reflection there in the uh, in the screen. I I'm a fan of, of black and silver and gray, and so that's how I wanted to, my device to be. That was a very uh, a nice part of the experience is to be able to customize it. Uh, I do plan on reviewing it. Uh, as I said, it will be posted to my patrons if I or if they decide that I can share it with everybody else. Then well, I'll let them decide whether or not uh, I should share that uh, Moto X review with everybody. But my initial impressions are positive. I haven't even had a chance to use those speakers yet either. Hmm. Not bad not knowing much about it. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all my patrons. If you want to become a patron, you get tons of bonuses, including all access TLDR tech talk every day. I think Fridays was like 90 minutes long. Everybody else gets the podcast for free and uh, you can subscribe on all the YouTube channels. Keep watching the vlogs where tech shows up every so often. And of course, tons of Star Wars stuff too. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you, but at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.